So today on the 190D, something I wanna go over and fix is actually a very common problem on these cars and uh, many other Mercedes, and that is a bouncing speedometer. Now, from what I've read and from what I've learned is that a speedometer or a bouncing speedometer could be uh, either the cable is stretched or there's a plastic gear in the transmission that could be stripped or the speedometer itself could be broken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the cheapest and easiest way to fix this and see if my cable is broken or if it's stretched and causing the speedometer to bounce. So this is where the speedometer cable is located. As you can see, there's the drive shaft sticking out of the back of the transmission, and it looks like it's sticking right up in there on the back side. And then it loops around underneath the transmission and then back up to the um, back of the instrument cluster. So this part was a little difficult to film only because I had the light in one hand and then the ratchet in the other hand. But as you can see, I have a ratchet with an extension on a swivel and then I believe that was a 10 millimeter. Taking the bolt out isn't very difficult, but getting the actual cable out of the transmission or that connection piece was a little tricky only because there is that support piece uh, kind of in the way of you getting a good grip on the cable. Uh, if you just, if you're careful, you can get it out. Just don't pull too hard on the rubber hose piece that's, you know, holding the cable in there. And once you have the speedometer cable removed from the transmission, you'll just want to go into the car and underneath the dashboard to see what the uh, cable looks like on that end. I'm laying on my back on the carpet. My forehead is touching the brake pedal for perspective. And it looks a little dark in there, but if I can get a little light, it's right there. And I can easily reach my hand. And then you can see I have middle finger, index finger, and then thumb. I can easily get a grip on that. Um, mine was actually on so loose, I don't think it was actually in there properly. So I'm going to screw that back in and see how it works. I'm going to have to go reconnect it from the bottom. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see if this uh, helps and makes the speedometer work again. Well guys, I went ahead and did a quick test drive and what I found was uh, that the speedometer held steady at least up until 20 miles an hour. Now the car is not registered and because I'm having some vacuum issues, the brakes are not the best. So I'm just, you know, driving around the block. I'm just trying to be very careful, but I was able to get it up to 20 miles an hour and it held steady. So as I get the car, you know, repaired and back on the road, I'll be able to confirm whether this actually fixed my speedometer cable issue. So hopefully that helped you guys, give you guys a little bit of insight into uh, where those connections are and how easy they are to access uh, both one from the transmission and then one, uh, the other one underneath the dashboard. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you do like these videos in general, um, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be producing more videos as I go through and fix different aspects of this car. So again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.